Hey. Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. Yes, another nail video. I haven't posted one of these in a fat minute. Either way, we're back. And while I filmed this video, it was October 2nd. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but I know it's like the beginning of October. And I'm like, come on. Like I had to do a spooky nails video. So these are them. So I did spooky nails. Sometimes I like doing more easier designs because I feel like it's easier for more people to do them. So I did a bit of an easier design, kind of simplistic. I really like how they turned out. In this video, I show the whole entire process. I show how to do like the actual nail and then I show how to do the design and all that. Every single item I use in this video is linked in the description. I get this question all the time. My nails can last up to four weeks. Every single time I've gotten my nails done in a salon, my nails last like two weeks. My nails are very flimsy not the greatest but i share all of my little tips and tricks to let you guys know how to keep your nails on so if you want to know how i got these spooky nails and you just want to come and hang out with me to do nails keep watching i love you guys so much and i hope you enjoy it has been three weeks since my last nail video i probably said it in another video a lot happened in the last three weeks and i just like couldn't film but i am back so that's all that matters <laughs> also if i sound like a little like nasally i am still getting over sickness i'm not really sick anymore but my sinuses are still like annoying so these are my nails i'm not gonna lie my nails were struggling like if you look they have indents in them from where my acrylics were it's been like four weeks since i've done my nails i took them completely off like a few days ago but i I kind of had to rip them off because I didn't have any of my supplies because I was at my boyfriend's house. Last night I did some nail care and I put nail strengthener on them just so they have a little bit more to them because if I go like this they instantly bend. And I know everyone in the comments is going to be like, girl, why are you putting acrylics on your nails again? Because I hate the feeling of my nails. Yes, I could let my nails heal and get thicker, but I also love making nail videos and I'm really bored. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some nail care just to really make Make sure that our cuticles and everything by the end look good and they don't get in the way of all of our work. So the first thing I'm gonna take is I'm gonna take some cuticle eraser. I'm gonna put a teensy bit of that on all of my cuticle area. And then I'm just gonna massage that into all of my cuticles. I'm gonna take my cuticle pusher backer thing and then I'm just gonna push back all my cuticles and yeah kind of already just did this not long ago but I thought I would just add it in the video and I always like doing this before I do my nails because I feel like it just gives you a little bit more nail room for like designs I feel like it just makes everything look better it just brings everything together All my cuticles are pushed back and I'm gonna take my little cuticle trimmer and I would go along my cuticles but I don't really have a buildup of cuticles so I'm not gonna do that and then now just for a little cuticle care because my nails are uh, suffering I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil I'm mainly just including this because people keep asking for like nail care and I feel like a nail care video would be so short and boring so I'm just gonna like include them in the beginning of this video I just massage it and I really get like the blood flow going. The more blood flow you get going and stimulation around your cuticle, the more your nails are gonna grow. I literally like before bed sometimes will like massage my cuticles to try and get them to grow because my nails don't really like to grow. And my fingers have been really, really dry recently, so what I do is I will just take a little bit of Aquaphor and kind of just like massage that into all of my cuticles because I hate when my hands are dry and especially my cuticles and my knuckles and stuff. So this is a lifesaver. I do this a lot of the times before I go to bed. My nails feel healthier, it makes them look healthier because they're more moisturized. So this is my nail care. It kind of looks greasy, but it does like soak in in a few minutes and it looks totally fine. But this is what I do when I when I know my nails are struggling. The first thing that I do when I prep my nail is I go in with some rubbing alcohol and I just wipe my actual nails down. I literally just, ah. I literally had to stop filming an Instacart rubbing alcohol because I didn't have any. 
because I didn't realize that I ran out until like right now. I just keep it very much on my actual nail and rub off all, especially all the cuticle oil and stuff, but your hands just naturally have oils. You just wanna make sure there's no oils on your nails because then like when we apply the fake tips and then we do the dip and stuff, it can lift back here. Every single time I have not prepped my nail properly, my nails just pop off and they start to lift and it's really, really annoying. So now that we've dehydrated our nails, we're gonna be going in with the fake nail tips. I'm gonna pick out all the right sizes for my nails and match them up if there's one that is a little bit too small and then there's one that's a little bit too big like there's not a perfect one always go for the one that's a little bit too big because one you can file them down to fit your nail perfectly and two if you go with one that's a little bit too small it's gonna be pinching your nail and from my experience they pop off way easier and there can be weird little gaps like on the side and it just works way better when it's a little bit bigger because you can always file it down and make Make it fit your nail so I'm going in on the fake nail tips on the sides of them a little bit and I'm just filing them so they match my nail shape perfectly and I'm just gonna do that on all of them I filed all my nail tips to match my nails and now I'm gonna be going in with my favorite nail glue best nail glue I've ever used and I know I've been seeing a bunch of people say they can't find it i got it in a professional like nail store and i'll try and link it down below if i can find it somewhere online but if you can find this stuff just like look up the name of it and if you can find it get it but be careful with it if you're really bad at like gluing your fingers together or you glue your fake nail tips on crooked and you need time to move them around don't get this but if you're looking for something that dries super duper quickly and it'll make the process quicker then get it <laughs> or you barely need like any glue like just the teeniest drop and then you just put it on and it's already it's already on there like that just shows how quick that nail glue is this is one hand with all the nail tips on and I did that in like one minute and i will say for people that are struggling and you find that it takes like a million years to do your nails the more you do your nails you will start to realize that you're working so much quicker like gluing on my nails used to take me like 10 minutes and now it takes me like one minute i'm gonna take my nail cutter i don't really know what length i want to do teeny bit longer ones I always start off longer and then go shorter because it is a different type of pain when you accidentally cut one shorter than the rest and then you have to even them out I feel like that's good. And I think I'm going to be going for a coffin shape just because I've loved like super duper skinny coffin nails. I think I might be doing a spooky nail design. I feel like that just like looks better with it. I'm going to take my little nail scissors and then I'm going to go along the sides and like cut off the pieces that we don't need so we don't need to file for a million years. I don't like taking off a lot with the scissors because I always take off too much and then I ruin it and then I have to take them off and like redo them. I was having a rough time with this part getting like the scissors in there so sometimes I'll just go in with these the things I trim my cuticles with and I'll just like chop them off with this one. I am so mad I just cut off way too much of that nail. And I think it's too far gone to save it. I think that is too much. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to save it. I might have to take it off. Oh my God. Why do I always do that? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save that now. I might have to take it off, but I'm gonna go in with my file and I'm just gonna go along the sides and shape it into a super duper skinny coffin shape. I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen. These are like all the main shapes. I usually go for almond and coffin shape. Those are just my favorites. Now I'm gonna go file all my nails. This one is so fat. I need to file this one a lot. filed I accidentally cut myself right there uh -huh. it's okay I'm just gonna take a buffer and I'm gonna go along all of the nail tips and a little on my nail and just roughen them up a bit and take away all the shine so then when we apply the dip it'll stick way better So now that I've buffed all the shine away, I'm gonna go in with a file and I'm gonna go along the fake tip and just file it a little bit so it's more seamless. So when we apply the dip, there's not like a big giant lump. So it'll be easier to even everything out. And it just, if we do French tips or anything like that, it'll look like your natural nail underneath. And they don't even look like acrylics when I do this. It just looks like real nails when I do this step. It's like kind of an unnecessary step, but it makes it look so much better. I'm 
I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna go in the sink and I'm gonna go scrub my nails with soap and just make sure all the powder is off because you don't want to have any powder on your hands going into the dip because it can make it look like there's little air bubbles in it and not make it as clear because I'm gonna be going in with clear dip powder so I'm gonna go do that and then I will be back I went for a teeny bit longer than I usually go for um, just cuz I feel like I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do some sort of spooky nails or like fall inspired nails and I feel like it just like goes with the vibe more you know before we get into the dip I'm gonna be wiping down my natural part of my nail with some rubbing alcohol again this step helps so much with the dip not lifting and I know I've gotten a bunch of comments on people having the problem where the dip lifts up here and like your hair gets stuck in it and it's the most annoying thing ever but this is like that step that really 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 helps it not lift this is the dip powder I use I just use clear dip powder I don't know if I said this earlier but everything going to be linked in the description and then I use this little kit and it comes with one two three four and it comes with the base activator and then a top coat if you're using like a dip color and you're not going to be painting your nails and then this is like to clean brushes if they get dried out and stuff the main two that we're gonna be using are one and two. What I've been doing recently, and especially when I have longer nails, you really have to build the apex of the nail, and the apex of the nail is right here. I've noticed when I apply a little bit more dip near the cuticle and right here, my nails last so much longer. They don't lift and they don't break off. I am first going to apply the base. And I'm gonna kind of put it in the middle-ish, like on the apex. I'm gonna dip my nail in. I hold mine for five seconds. I know a lot of people double dip. They like dip it and then they just dip it again. This is just the way that works for me. You want to tap off the excess and then just take a big fluffy brush. And one thing you want to make sure is that you're really wiping off all the powder in between while you're doing dip because then it's going to look like you have like little air bubbles in it and it's not going to look super clear. And that was a big problem I was having in the beginning and I'm pretty sure it has to do with leaving the powder on it. Now I'm going to do it a little bit closer to the cuticle and then I'm just going to take it all the way to the tip of the nail and then dip it again. I'm really trying to build the apex of the nail, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more right here just to have like one more coat in there because my nails are very thin underneath the fake tips too, so it's much easier for my nails to bend. If, if you look at this nail, you're gonna see what I mean by how bendy they are. And if you were to just leave your nails like this and paint them, oof, it would not be good. You would snap a nail and like rip your actual nail off. And now I'm gonna do a whole entire coat all the way up to the cuticle and then all the way to the tip of the nail and then all right so at this point you kind of just want to check out your nail and see if you want to add any more and it kind of depends on like what you want i think i am going to add a teensy bit more here because whenever i add a little bit more it makes my nails not lift as much maybe add the teeniest bit more right here just so it has like a very nice swoosh to it i think that is pretty good for that nail and obviously we're gonna file it and make it super even and stuff later but i'm gonna go and do that on the rest of my nails probably be a time lapse because that's very boring to watch me do over and over again but yeah so i'm gonna go do that i finished the dip on all my nails yes they look a little bit lumpy but we're gonna fix that i'm gonna go in with the activator to seal all of my nails I'm gonna take my file and I'm going to reshape my nails and then I'm gonna go along my nails like this to make sure they're very even and there's no lumps on them. Alright, so my nails are all filed, they're all super even. I'm gonna go in with the activator one more time and just put that on all of them. I'm gonna go wash my hands with my little scrubber brush thing to make sure all of the powder is off and then I will be back to do the designs. Yay! Oh my gosh. Okay, these came out so freaking good. I love the length of them. I love that they're super skinny. I think we're gonna be doing some spooky nails because it is October 2nd while I'm filming this. So I think I might do some more simple ones. Like I'll do like some black French tips and then some with like black drips and I might do 
do like a little ghost or something. We'll see. We'll see. So I am gonna do some black French tips on my nails and I just bought these off of Amazon and they are like super milky. This one's a bit darker. It would probably be better for people with darker skin tones as like a natural like milky nail color. And then this is the one I think I'm gonna use today. It's just like a pinky milky color. and It'll just make it look like it's your natural nail underneath the French tip. And before I get into the nail polish, I do wanna say all the nail polishes I use are gel nail polishes and I keep Cure them in a UV light and that is just my favorite way to do nails because if you want to do designs and stuff and you have to layer nail polishes you can cure it and then it's instantly dry instead of using normal nail polishes and having to wait for the stuff to dry All right, I do have to say, I wish the ghost came out a little bit better. I really liked how the drips came out. These came out super, super cute. I love like the milky color that I got in the background, but you can definitely tell they're Halloween themed, you know, but it's like slight. It's not like too crazy. I really like how they came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave suggestions down below of more nail videos you guys want. I already have a bunch like on my, I have like in my notes, like a bunch of videos to film. I have a bunch of nail videos already in there. I love you guys so 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 freaking much thank you so much for watching thank you for all the support on my nail videos if this is the first time you are seeing me i do literally so much more other content i do a lot of beauty content a lot of like in my life content so if you want to see that you could subscribe and be a part of my little like corner on the internet that would be cool if you like this video don't forget to give it I hate, the, I hate this part. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys. Go and comment down below. Go follow all my other socials. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go now. See ya. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. But my bruise the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn shit down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Hey, always talking about the fish and scales.